ウーボッツペツヨカクテルナイディー Welcome to part two of the blockade first、uh, solo scenario、uh, the blockade ones or BL1 in this case so part two of BL1 So so many errors so little time Yeah, there's a number of、uh, issues I had there. Some of them I caught and actually I made a little edit in the video. Others I, I spoke, I realized I did it during it and I, I, I mentioned it as I went along. And then I caught some other ones.、Uh, you may remember I was, had a big old trajectory of, for the winter coming through here. And then I was, the British were going to do an airstrike. And I was like counting all the places. That were eligible for being adjacent.、Uh, first issue,、uh, and one of them, two of them were up here. But if you look on that airbase in Iceland, that doesn't exist until 1942. So those would not have been eligible. I didn't roll for them anyway. I ended up rolling, I ended up accidentally rolling for the only one that the bot would have actually have chosen because somebody pointed out in the comments, and it was a good comment by the way, thank you, is that. The ones here could have gotten German air support to reduce the,、um, the modifiers that the British would have, and the bot's always going to try to load up as many modifiers as he can and avoid、um, uh, negative ones if he can as well. And so it was the one at Scapa Flow, which I just happened to roll, was the, was the proper one. But、um, that's the first one. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else did I did?、Uh, also, and it's one I caught was when I rolled for, I vied, for, the British vied for initiative when they should have、uh, seized initiative, which would have been, might have changed the, the game considerably because、uh, getting a seize of, seizing initiatives is harder than winning the、uh, vie for initiative, generally. And finally, someone pointed out, and I just totally missed this one. Is back here at the very end. I did not time lapse the Germans.、Uh, they should have time lapsed and been a station, and then this、uh, unidentified task force would have trajectoried right to it. Oh, but let's see, that would have been like. Well, it's hard to say where, where I would have put it. I certainly would have gotten rid of the contact marker. That I believe was already on a trajectory when I, when I started.、Uh, who knows how that would have turned out.、Uh, but yes, I, I forgot to、um, uh, time lapse the Germans.、Uh, I'm not going to rewind or try to redo the,、um, any, of the, any of those um, um, things.、Uh, we'll just pretend that it's a video game and I set it to hard mode or something like that, which means I can never write video game reviews for Kotaku or Polygon. Brumps. Got him. Okay, so last time we left off, the British retained the initiative. So we don't roll for weather, but we do roll to see what they will do. To, now, here's the thing if I was a player and I had this guy, this guy, I was playing against the Germans here and he had a contact marker and a station, there wouldn't be a question. I would. I would、uh, go for an engage action here, but according to the bot, the bot can change his mind. So we do actually roll for an action. Let me see here, and I'll go ahead and pull up. Okay, we are still on this column because the British have actually not completed or had any of their convoys destroyed, so we're still in this zero column here. Okay, let me roll one dice. Five is a completion action, so they are going to change their mind. They're actually going to work on their convoys. They may have said, We need our cans of sardines coming in. We've got these guys on the run. And that, hey, well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to start running if I can, because I can't take on these guys. It's、uh, three. Well, it turns out it's, we haven't identified yet. It could be 
just a group of destroyers, which eh, I still be a little leery of fighting them because we're damn because the let's low currently is damaged and slow and has a zero on its extreme range bonus. Okay, so completion action. Uh, remove damaged British ships. Nope, I don't got any of those. As <laughs> the way this has been going. This empty is a TF, remove it, then select a British task force. No. no, selection. Select a British task force with a convoy. If more than one, select the shortest trajectory. That would be him. Action. Attempts to complete in Clyde or Portsmouth, which is ever is closer. TF may need to perform a trajectory action first. Direct route avoiding intel triggers if possible. Okay, so let's do that. Seems like we were singing this tune a while, a couple turns ago, where they did that before. And we tried our best to nail them down, but the dice just were not cooperating. And that's where I said, yes, they'll take advantage of air cover. If I was on a merchant ship, and I knew there was an air base, like, right there. I would certainly steer that direction. And then Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Now, but this time, looking here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, speaking of which, let me just say, these mistakes I've been making, I think it's really a matter. And going forward, I'm not just... I need to use this uh, player aid as a, like a checklist. So my problem is I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm explaining and I'm talking and things like that. And just things skip my mind as I'm trying to invent interesting things to say. Um, so going forward, I think I'm going to just sit here with the, the player aid. Go with these, these actions are very actually laid out very nicely. And if you just follow them along, each one, it's going to be a lot harder for me to make goofs. So I'm to help everyone, including anyone watching this and including myself. I think that's what we're going to do. Anyway, we know that, as always, when a trajectory action does not yield up the initiative. In fact, we'll look at it right there. So there's no confusion. Add more. You keep initiative. It even says so. Uh, as long as we don't hit any enemy things that would trigger intel markers. And there's none on this path yet. That German base right there does not come in until 1941, so it doesn't exist. It's still British until the successful invasion of France. But it's now if we look at completion action. We couldn't, there's no intel marker on it. There is a contact marker. But a contact marker doesn't do anything to stop uh, the completion action. Six segments max. One, two, three, four, five. And we're eligible. Uh, one of the segments is in the port hex. And by the way, it does not have to be the end piece. It can be anything in a po any trajectory in a port hex. The inactive player, us, attempts to seize initiative. As SI, SI attempt fails, completion succeeds. Now, the good news is, I do have a plus one to my seize initiative. So maybe we get lucky. We can stop some convoys. Although, seven, eight, of course not. Needed a nine. Okay. Fail. Uh, completion success. Remove, designate. Oh, this would go up, wouldn't it? And completed. They bring their kippers successfully to Portsmouth. And that makes for interesting reading because and according to our player aid, they retain the initiative they completed because we failed the seize initiative. You don't get another one at the end of the, the completion action. 
So we're going to go again. And we need an action. Point. Four. Now, the situation is a little different, though. There we go. Because a con uh, convoy completed, we're not rolling on the zero anymore. We're rolling on the one column. And a four on the one column is, says convoy. And what does that mean? I think that means he's going to bring another convoy into the mix. No, I don't think he is. Hold on. Convoy. Renew, remove damaged British ships. Nope, none of those. Uh, if there's a British task force with a convoy in it, in play, yep. Roll a die and apply the result. And right here. Four. Treat as a C British action table result. That would be a completion action for the other one. Obviously, there's more than six segments on this, so they cannot complete. The British pass instead. The weather is good. It is a very slow task force. It means it removes two. Initiative passes to us, and even though we didn't fail a roll or anything like that, that goes to zero. And now it is my turn. We're going to check the weather. The weather remains good. And I am in flight mode. I am going to go... I think I'm damaged. I'm going to try to hook up with this rendezvous point and see what happens when I get there. So first action will be a trajectory. Take marker stays. Ah, but uh, you know, I can see you saying it. Hey, don't forget the. You know what? I won't. Not yet. Because we placed a trajectory in a hex with enemy station. We have intel on us. Now, here's my conundrum. The game ends as soon as uh, I don't have any British test or German task force on the board. Uh, I'd like to try to score a few more points, but to, I think to do that, if I can get him to South America, if that's one of the results and I complete there, that'll give me some points. Um... But the other thing is, I got a, I have the Graf Spee and reinforcement in Kiel. I think it's Kiel, the other place. And the question is, do I risk a 50-50, well, slightly more than a 50-50 roll to bring the reinforcements onto the board? Let me think. I think I really want this intel marker off me. So instead... I think I'm just going to do a good old pass here. Can I airstrike anybody anywhere? Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I don't think it would amount to much, though. Ah, it might be worth it. Just to get to, I had to get some points. Uh, first, I think I want to do this. If I, well, hmm. That's a bit of a long shot, and if I leave this intel and contact marker on it, it's it's pretty clear he's going to rock, rock me if he gets the right roll. So I think I'm just going to go with my original plan here and just pass invoking intel limit, which will limit me to removing one, but I am removing both the contact marker and the intel marker. And I'm out of his square. He has to come to me. Which, so we are officially on the run. So we have passed. 
It is now the British. They will roll for weather. Weather remains good. Now we roll for their action. On one column in there, uh, stop spinning. Five is completion action. They're going to do the same thing they did last time. They're going to pass, and they're getting closer. Hmm. Passes to me. We can check for weather. The weather changes to bad. Ah. Uh, hmm. Now, now I think this would be a time to think about bringing that reinforcement in. Let me see. Let's take a shot. I need a seven to bring in a reinforcement. Trying to go for the graph spray. Eight, coming in, all right. We have a new task force. We place him. And there he is. Okay. Let me check my handy dandy player aid, make sure I'm not missing anything. Reorganize, attempt to success, keep initiative, reinforcement enters play. Okay, now we can do something. The question is, do we want to do something with them now? I think we do, while the weather allows us to kind of scooch around Air Force, <laughs> Air Bases. So, let's get him on the move immediately. Q from Q. I kill you. Okay. Scaff a flow or this. Well. I think I would rather take the intel marker at scaff a flow. Just because if he signals me, he can just signal me and and will pretty much engage me immediately. This way, he has to at least come to me. So we're gonna do that. Or maybe I can just take on these ships. No, I don't think uh, a pocket battleship versus three cruisers is a winning proposition. Let's take a run at that thing. Oh, do I want to go a little more outward? From here, let's see, one, two, now. I don't want a whole bunch of trajectories. I want to be able to get my trajectories down fast. But at the same time, there's no air base up there. But there is one there. Yes. Doesn't have a date on it or anything. Uh, we're gonna go here and here, and hopefully the grounding of aircraft due to bad weather will keep us will hold. Kind of a weird thing. You're the Germans are right, when they're trying to break out. They're actually hoping for crummy weather to keep all the planes on their air bases. Okay, we've done it. Hmm. Okay. I think I want to make a... I think I want to... This is... Ah. Wait a minute. Aha. I still have Raider and his all-pass ability. And this looks like a fantastic time to use that. So we're gonna and you get two uses of it. So we're gonna go ahead and use it now. Okay, a bit of an edit there. Uh, I started doing these time lapses and realized I didn't do the um, 
I was supposed to roll dice because of the bad weather rather than just popping some off. So rather than just make corrections in the video and all this thing, I, ju I just stopped it right there and just decided to reshoot. And it's just easier to do it that way. So we were in the middle of our all pass with Raider. These two. And we roll for each one. And roll for let's roll for this top one here. Three. And our all pass for here, we're going to roll for this one. This is nice to have a nice big number. Four. Yeah. Okay. So, guess where I'm going to take this. And I'll, I'll just remind for people watching. You know, you get in the habit of taking from the back end. But you are under no obligation to put the station over here when it's the last uh, trajectory. But uh, it's obviously advantageous for us to do it this time, but remember that you can put it in any of the stations that, uh, that are part of it. Okay, that concludes the all pass for us. Uh, normally, when you're in here, we got to do a fueling check, which is rolling on some tables, but we just passed initiative as far as I'm reading the rules. Uh, we've already passed, so we wouldn't roll on it until we had the initiative again. And I think that's, a, that's the first thing I have to do. Yes, yes. I'm double checking that. Okay, so it is gone to the British. We are still in bad weather. We're going to roll to see if that changes. It does not. Mm, good. Because an airstrike here when the weather goes good would not be very uh, pleasant. So, what are the British going to do? Five on the, well, they completed the column, so we need to roll in the one, and it's a five, it's a completion action. Okay. So, we know they can't complete yet, they're at uh, seven trajectories, so they're going to pass and time lapse, and they're going to time lapse according to dice. Five. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. They are about in. And now the question to become is, do we go after them or do we just move on? And maybe, not sure. But anyway, they passed. Let us pass the initiative to us. The weather does change to good. That's trouble, my friend, because now the air guys are everybody, the air force is everywhere. This is a conundrum. Well, there's no conundrum now, because first I have to roll on this uh, fueling table. So we'll be using the good weather, and we roll a six. The result of E. E says remove the rendezvous marker. Good weather. Also remove an evasive marker from the German TF. It has one. Yes, I do. Oh, gee. Okay, great. That's it. No new mission. Well, that wasn't very productive. So, I still have the initiative. <laughs> I think I need to boogie over to the other one. I've been reviewing the score, and it's clear it's looking like I'm going to be in the negative column no matter what I do, because I lost the ship. I got one ship damaged. That alone is minus eight points. Getting out of that hole looks to be impossible. So at this point, we're just <laughs> we're just going for cosmetics here. I think. All right, he's going up there. And for these guys, all right. What do I want to do? Do I actually want to take a shot at this convoy or risk more ship sunk? 
It's worth, if I can nab it, worth three points. Pretty iffy proposition. All right, well, I think I'm actually gonna run. Like I said, we're in... <laughs> we blew everything on the, uh, on the convoys there. The loss of ships and loss and damage of ships have really just put us in the like so. Okay. Well, might as well burn up Raiders All Pass while we're at it. It is good weather. So that means two come off for this one. And whoop, oh, got an Intel marker. I can invoke the Intel limit and take two off. One, two, plus the Intel. Well, that might spare us a brutal airstrike. We might still get hit. But that is our pass and we are basically on the run. It's looking like Raider's going to get relieved <laughs> no matter what we do. We're just trying to <laughs> save lives at this point. Okay, so it passes to the British. The British, the weather stays good. And the British decide to five. I think that is the completion action, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Okay, so... They're in range, they're at a port, they can complete. Let me get out my chart so that we don't skip a step. No intel markers on him. I get an attempt to seize the initiative. Oh, I do actually, well. Completion fail. Designated uh, TF performs time lapse. So, like so. We have seized the initiative. It is to us. And so we check the weather. The weather is still good. Mm. Yeah, we're in pass mode here. I want to get, I think I'm going to do, I only get one now. I've blown all my all passes. And I think I want to get out of here with this guy because I'm still in air, uh, air base range. So we're going to go ahead and do him. He's a medium. So he removes three. One, two, three. And we've passed to him. And we are, well, at least we're not going to get hit with an airstrike. We may get hit by a task force, but. So British check for weather. Weather stays good. What do the British do? They complete. They try to complete, that is. They failed last time. Uh, they're going to try again right there. That's the only one we got. Let me check something here. Okay, yes. We're going to try to seize the initiative again. Uh, we fail, but that will go up. Completion for them. And my score goes down more. La di da. They keep the initiative, as far as I know, according to this uh, player aid. So they're going to roll for another action. Two. Okay, now they actually shift down a column because they've completed two convoys. So now we're into airstrike. They can't airstrike because there's nothing in range. And when there is nothing in range... Select a task force with a CA in it. That would be these guys. Even though uh, the blockade, well, all the blockade is. They're chasing us now. Okay. 
fun. And it's going to hunt down our nearest task force, which is this guy. So he's got a trajectory out there. Mm. Here come the cruisers. And let's hit them. Let's say they, they probably hit me here, I think. They want to split the... They'd want to split the trajectory for sure. Okay. At least... Well... The rule says the nearest... This is one I kind of use a judgment call on. Because if you get the... Uh, if you go for the tail end and uh, get an earlier or late result, I, they just give me a evasive maneuvers marker. So I think they would try to avoid doing that. Okay, so they've trajectoried over. That means a naval search. Well, let's mark it so we don't mess up. Active. There won't be any coordinating task force. Yeah, okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten column. Trajectory total. Naval search. That air base does not exist. So there's no air support. And what this means is we're going to do a straight run on the ten column. Straight roll. With a big fat freaking 12. <laughs> they are just rolling very well. What does boxcars mean on a naval search? It means contact and station. Where's that cylinder? Right there. Well then, <laughs> I thought I was going to get away. I may not even be able to do that. I'm rolling terrible, they're rolling great. Okay, well, let me check my little player A to make sure we're doing everything right. Naval search. Target TF and same S. X. There was no intel markers. Of course not. Time lapse. Designated TF except the target does a time lapse. And this is a fast, so they're going to pull four off. Two, three, four. And now, with the naval search, I have a chance to seize the initiative with a plus one modifier. Hey, got it! Yeah! Okay, this goes back. Will we get away? I meant to make this a 30 minute video, but uh, we're getting close to the edge here, so I think we're gonna just soldier on. Um. Well, that one is under the most threat, obviously. So we're just going to trajectory to the rendezvous point. Got a lovely little contact marker here. Could rendezvous to the other one and try coordinating, but eh, we are where we are. Um, really, we're just going to pass, I think. It's good weather. Did I roll for weather last time? Mm, did I? I don't think I did. Well, the Germans, when it passed to us, I don't think we did. It would have stayed the same. All right, so we just pull both of those off, I think. It's a... Uh... Oh, these are supposed to be striped. Hang on. I got the wrong task force markers here. Sorry. It would be those. And then I would do the the time lapse pass. Pull that off. And now we are here, but we have passed. Passes to the British who roll for weather. And a one. What are they going to do? They're going to do four. Four on the two column is the next result, which is the decisive action, which is, okay, select. 
Mm, man, this is dumb. Okay, here's a dumb move on part of the of the bot because it's telling us to select a task force uh, with a battle cruiser, not the French ones. These guys. So if that's not the case, then an unidentified task force. This one way the ho 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 down here, which is just so dumb. Why wouldn't you choose this one? Because it is, even though it's identified, it's it's near. Yeah, you know what? They the bot definitely had them chase having this unit chase them. Let me double check that. Yes, because um. Because when you're doing the uh, airstrike one, and you can't do the airstrike, it's the British Task Force with uh, cruisers in it. And that's the one with the red. And now it's telling me to use this one. I'm sorry. I just, I got to override you. It's just, it's just a dummy bot move. You got it right there. You got it right there. Come on. Now, I guess you could play it historical because, you know, people in history just bungle. But we're going to try to bring him to battle with this one. If you disagree, go ahead and say so in the comments. He said, well, oh, just follow the, follow the bot, man. We're overriding the bot. They're going to get an intel marker because they've popped into our domain. And now they're going to try to Engage. They have an intel marker, so we get a chance to interrupt. And that is a straight roll on this, no unmodified roll on this table here. We might be able to give them the slip. Let's see. Boxcars. What is boxcars on the one column here? It is Vi for initiative. So, die on die. <laughs> I got you. I interrupted you. The British had the initiative, so they're not going to get a bonus. So, we're going to take the initiative from them. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's going to change. Right, until more. Oh, wait a minute. Is there a time lapse? Hang tight. I kind of don't think there is, actually. Interrupt. As far as I know, hang on. All right, uh, this is a little confusing, and it's been on the forums there about the, the slip action and the initiative change actions. We know slick, slip actions that cancels the entire action. Uh, it says so right there. Initiative change, the which we didn't roll. Uh, the action is also canceled on here. Vi for initiative. And we're going to go with this wording here. Eventually, immediately vi for initiative. And if interruption, which, yes, if the active player maintains the initiative, they didn't resume the original action. So I'm going to take that. The active player didn't maintain the initiative. Therefore, don't resume the original action. And the time lapse would be part of that original action. So I'm going to say, no, initiative is ours now. If you disagree, please comment. Uh, I think I'm interpreting that correctly. Okay, so it is us. And we check for weather. And it stays good. Now, he's in a station in the fueling area. So this is going to be an automatic fueling check. We roll on the good weather chart, and we get a two result which is A. Remove the rendezvous marker. 
You are gone. I wonder if Ronnie View markers generate Intel. It would, didn't matter in this case because there's already Intel because of the. I don't think it does. But. Okay. Remove the uh, RV marker. Repair. Remove one hit. We're hit. We haven't been hit. New objective. Proceed to South America. Henceforth, in this scenario, the only German port this TF may attempt is completion. The only German port this may attempt completion is in South America. The TF is not permitted to perform reorganization actions. And it may not perform another fueling check. So we've just basically got new orders. Ah, and here's a little caveat, though. British task force in the hex? Yes. The British task force is in the hex. Yes, they were literally in the hex. An airplane is spotted. Attach a contact marker to the German TF. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. Thanks a whole bunch. Stupid aircraft. Um, already has one. No, no, no. What the heck has an Arctic line in it? Nope, just missed it. Oh, it does have one in it. It's the airbase marker. It's in the nearest... Non Arctic line hex. What the heck does that mean? Hang on. Okay. An airbase marker there for who knows why. Okay. Fine. Um, I think I still have initiative. Yeah, unless otherwise noted, you can retain the um, the initiative. So, I guess we're going to steam to South Africa as fast as humanly possible. My only option. All right. Uh, thank you very much. There's that, which will give us an intel marker on top of a contact marker. And, sir, begging your pardon, I think we're just going to go around this air newly minted airbase. Hey, we'll cross with you. Why not? Oh, let's not get too as close to this airbase here. Yeah, in fact. Oops. Yeah. That's a lot of trajectories, man. Okay. And quite frankly, we should just pass. We're going to invoke the intel limit and get all this junk off us. That's uh, good weather, so three. One, two, three. We got to get out of here. Yeah, we've got to rock. We've got to get a schnell, Max schnell. Okay. So, we passed to the British. The British roll for weather. The British weather is good. The British shall now. Two on the two. Three on the two column. Three on the two column. Three on the two column. Um, um, um. Well, that's our old pal, the airstrike. And as far as I know... This counts as an airbase, so this can be an airstrike. One, two, we can just catch the tail end of this guy. So I think that is what they're going to do. So launch from there to there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the ten column. It is out there. Our modifiers are air support, two hexes away, plus one. Yeah, we're going to get plus one to our modifier. 
I think that's the only thing we get. Yes, there's no coordination. So, here we go. Eight, that would be a nine. Nine tells me contact, but, and a hit on a slow task force. We are not, thankfully, we are not slow. So they are not going to hit us. Okay. That was the air strike. We could not interrupt. Because that was the active terror for task force was not. I don't think it's attached to the task force. No, I don't think so. Time lapse. There is no designated task force in that. That's just an airstrike. As best I can tell. So there would not be time lapse for anyone. Now we buy for the initiative. High ball game. So the British retain. Weather? No, not weather. This is their action. This is their action. Since they retained initiative. Yes. Well, five on the two plus column, because they completed two convoys, is the convoy result. And what that means is if there's no convoy already in play, create a new task force and place a convoy in it. Okay, there you go. Also place a CL in a, a light cruiser in it. Fine, sure, sure. Got a convoy, we'll put the, what does it say? Nyad in the task force. Oh, so. As it goes on, the task for the convoys get harder. Then roll a die to determine where to place the new TF. We roll a die if it's even. Africa. So, down here. Or there. Then the new PTF performs a trajectory action to Portsmouth or Clyde Liverpool, whichever is closer, then initiative change. Fair enough. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Like so. And the initiative changes to us. And you know what? This has been, I thought this was going to end soon. I thought we were climbing up to the end, but it looks like we got uh, a good number of more, more moves to go. So I think I'm just going to stop there and we'll see if we can't finish this up on the next one. Thank you.